Well, the bond market has been rattled by the big debate over interest rates. After defying predictions of a rise for years, bond yields around the world have started to climb from historic lows. But are the moves a head fake or something more? Mike Santoli takes a look. Have we finally seen the bottom for interest rates? An abrupt sell-off in government bonds in the past week has lifted bond yields across world markets and raised this question. From Japan to Europe to the U.S., investors have stepped back from bonds as they question central banks' continued willingness to suppress borrowing costs near historic lows. This is a reversal of the sentiment that took hold over the summer, when trillions of dollars worth of bonds traded with negative yields, and investors bet that central banks in Japan and Europe would continue buying government debt indefinitely. Meantime, Federal Reserve officials continue to suggest a rate increase is likely before the year is out, if not after next week's policy meeting, then perhaps in December. Of course, many have incorrectly predicted that rates would start to climb for years now. And the rise in the 10-year Treasury yield from a low of 1.36 percent in early July to just above 1.65 percent now is hardly a dramatic move in the larger picture. That benchmark yield ended 2015 above 2.25 percent. This could prove to be yet another fleeting bounce in yields. And even if the ultimate bottom in rates has been seen, low global growth and inflation should keep them from rising too far or too fast. Still, a growing fatigue with central bank policies and softening demand for low-yielding bonds provides a jolt for investors who've been rushing into dividend-paying stocks, believing those low bond rates insulated them from severe losses. One bright spot of the recent lift in longer-term bond yields, it helps banks earn a better return on loans and has carried bank stocks higher. As for the broad stock market, higher rates can usually be absorbed if they come with improved economic growth and corporate earnings, as is the hope. But until such a growth pickup is confirmed, fatter bond yields could upset an equity market that's grown reliant on an assumption that rates would remain lower for longer. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Mike Santoli at the New York Stock Exchange.